Hi everybody. I'm going to show you how to make this bag here. Um, I was going to show you that I used, it took one full skein of the multicolored and like a half a skein of another, just uh, another color. So a total like skein and a half of this, um, of this yarn and it's kind of pricey so I wanted to make sure I let you know so you didn't have to buy any extra or anything. Okay, for this project I'm using the um, Fettuccine, Lion Brand Fettuccine. It's the um, t-shirt or cloth yarn. Or I think it's t-shirt yarn or something. I'm going to be using that. And big plastic hook. This is a size Q. And if you don't have this one this big, it doesn't necessarily have to be this big, but it needs to be pretty big. As big as you can get it. Um, because if you're six millimeter or six and a half, it's not going to work. You need something quite a bit bigger. So this is a size Q. Okay, you want to you want to start off with the slip knot and oh, I'm going to start with the chain of three, and then I'm going to slip stitch back into the first one to form a ring. Now I want to chain one and now I'm going to go work through the center of the ring and I'm going to do six single crochets through the center of the ring. tail, make that center smaller. Now I'm going to do, I'm just going to jump over to the first single crochet and start again. I'm not going to slip stitch. So if you want to put a stitch marker here so you can remember where you started, you can. I think I'm going to do that. I'll probably lose my spot. So I'm just going to stick a piece of yarn here. Okay, now I'm going to jump over to the first single crochet, and I'm going to put two single crochets in it. One, two, I'm going to go to the next one and put two. I'm going to put two single crochets in each of the stitches. And then I made it back around to my stitch marker right here. So now I'm going to move it up. And now I'm going to go around again, putting two single crochets again in each one of the stitches. So two, we're just repeating the same a row we just did. Two single crochets and every stitch around again. Okay, once you make it back to your stitch marker, go ahead and move it up. I'm going to do one more round for the bottom. 
of the bag and what I'm going to do is single crochet in the next stitch and then I'm going to put two single crochets in the next. One single crochet in the next and then two single crochets in the next. So you just want to repeat that pattern all the way around of one single crochet, two single crochets, one single crochet, two single crochets. And you want to do that until you get all the way around to your stitch marker. And I did it and I just showed you in that lighter color because I actually this is for my bag right here, this dark color. Really couldn't see it that well, so I did it in that light color. And once you make it back around to your stitch marker, after that last round, slip stitch into the uh, next stitch, slip stitch, and then you can tie this off. I want to cut a little bit longer of a tail, six or eight inches probably, like that. Now, I'm going to put a knot in it here, so bring it through. Do your knot. Now what you want to do is what I do is just kind of weave it in. Take a smaller needle. And you can do this at the end if you want, but I just weave it through the stitches. If you want to try to hide it when you with your next color, you can do that too. But either way. Just like that all the way around. I'm just gonna try to sew uh, crochet it in when I attach my next color. Okay, now I'm just going to start my new color, and you can kind of start that anywhere that you want. And we're going to be working in around again, so you want to have another, you want to have a stitch marker ready. And I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to try to hold this tail back here and crochet it in as I go, hide it as I go. Um, and then when I get around, I'll do the same thing with this one. But if you want to wait to the end, if you have trouble hiding it as you crochet, it's completely up to you. But I'm gonna okay well I'm gonna start by going back into the same stitch that I just started in and single crocheting. And now I'm gonna do one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. So one in every stitch, you can see I kind of crocheted that tail in so I don't have to worry about it later. All the way around until you get back to the beginning. Okay, I made it all the way around, so now I'm going to put a stitch marker here to keep my place. I'm going to go around again with another row. I'm just going to jump on over here to the first one, put a single crochet in it. And I'm going to go around again, putting one single crochet in every stitch all the way around until I get back to my stitch marker. Okay, I made it back around, and now it's just going to be continual rounds of. Uh, one single crochet in every stitch. You just move your stitch marker up and I'm just going to keep going around and around like we've been doing with one single crochet in every stitch. And I'm going to do this for several rows until my bag gets the appropriate height. But it should work out pretty quickly because it's big chunky, big and chunky so but I'm going to keep going around. I'm just going to move my stitch marker up every time I make it back around and continue around again. One single crochet in every stitch. Rounds and rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. And I'll let you know here in just a second how many total rows I do. Okay. Okay, I've done a total of 11 rows 
of one single crochet in every stitch and of course you can do as many as you want but I'm going to start making the handles now so it was 11 rows of one single crochet in every stitch so what I'm going to do is slip stitch into the next stitch where my stitch marker is and tie this this one off because I'm going to switch colors now in it here and I'm going to just weave this tail in or I'm going to hide this tail as I start my next color okay I'll just start right around the same spot here actually I'm going to go back a little bit and start that way I can hide this tail too but you can start anywhere you want Pick a spot, start in it. Go ahead and pull your yarn through and chain one. Now I'm gonna go, if you wanna do the same, the handle's the same color, and in this, you, you didn't even have to tie off, but I'm gonna go back into the same stitch, single crochet, and I'm gonna do one round of one single crochet in every stitch in the color that I want my handle to be. So just one single crochet in every stitch in my handle color. And you can see I'm just hiding this tail as I go and I'll do the same with this one that we just clipped off. I'll just hide it under my single crochets. Okay, I made it around with that one row of single crochet and I'll show you how I marked off places for the handle. So you're going to need four stitch markers. And what you want to do is, here's my first stitch. You want to count over. One, two, one, two, three, four. And then the fifth one, stitch marker. And then you want to count over eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the next one, stitch marker. So that's going to be the marks for your first handles. And then what you want to do is count over again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stitch marker in the next. Count over eight again. Stitch marker. And there'll be... And then the rest of the stitches. Right here until you get back to the beginning. So it was from where you left off, it was count over four, stitch marker on the next one. Count over eight, stitch marker on the next one. Count over eight again, stitch marker, eight again, then a stitch marker, and then you'll be back at the beginning. So you want to put a stitch marker here, you can to remember your round other than your handle ones. So, so now I'm just going to jump over to the next single crochet. I got my stitch marker in place and single crochet. And I'm going to single crochet until I get to my first stitch marker. One single crochet in every stitch. Okay, I'm at my first stitch marker. So I want to single crochet into that stitch that has the stitch marker. Single crochet in it. I am going to remove that stitch marker so it doesn't confuse me because I'm done with it now. Now, since we left eight chains in between this stitch marker and this one, we want to do a chain of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we just want to stretch it over, skip all these stitches, and single crochet into the stitch that has the stitch marker. So just go into it, single crochet, and move the stitch marker, because you're done with that one too. So there's the start of one handle. Now I'm going to single crochet 
one single crochet in every stitch around until I get to my next stitch marker. This thing is a little bit <laughs> clunky, thick. And then you want to single crochet into the stitch that has the stitch marker. And then remove that stitch marker. Chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stretch it over to my next stitch marker. Single crochet in that stitch that has the stitch marker. Remove that stitch marker. And then one single crochet in every stitch around to the beginning. So you get two back to your stitch marker. Okay, and then you want to move your stitch marker up like that. And now I'm going to do one single crochet in every stitch around, including the chains of the handles that we just made. So go ahead and one single crochet in every stitch until I get to that chain that we made. Okay, and now I'm just going to put one single crochet in every stitch of this chain. So we did a chain of eight, so we'll have eight stitches. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. And then there's one handle. And then I'm just going to continue around putting one single crochet in every stitch until I get to my next chain. And I'm going to do the same thing there. And just continue and doing one single crochet in every stitch until I get back around to the beginning. Okay, I made it back around. Now, if you want to go around again to make your handles thicker, you can. I'm not. I'm just going to go ahead and tie off here. So I'm just. I'm at my stitch marker. I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch like that. And I'm going to slip stitch one more time into the next one even that round out and I'm going to tie this off you want to tie a uh, longer tail and not in it there and now what you want to do is weave this tail in like this On the inside, you can just weave it in through all these stitches with your needle. Go down. I'm just picking up part of the stitch and weaving it in. And you just want to do that till your tail's gone or you feel like it's not going to come out. Okay, you can be done if you want. I'm going to put a button on mine. So. What I'm going to do is, 
if I have a side that I prefer to be the back I'm gonna start there and I'm gonna these eight stitches that we had down here I'm gonna be working in the fourth and fifth one so go ahead and start your hook in the fourth one I'm just gonna make a little loop to and I'm gonna pull my yarn through chain one go back through and single crochet and I'm gonna make a chain of six and then I'm gonna come back to the next stitch the fifth one over and single crochet like that so now we have this little loop here so I single crocheted chain six and then single crocheted into the next stitch and I'm going to tie this off hook my yarn or my make a knot here and then you want to hide your tails the same way and then when you turn it around I'll hide them tails in a minute you can pull this through and you'll have a little loop here for your button to hook onto now the button I'm going to just sew on with a regular needle and thread just a sewing needle and thread and I'm just going to sew it on to this okay I went ahead and just sewed my button on with a regular sewing needle and thread and then that's it you just go ahead and pull that down and it latches over it and that's all there is to it it's pretty easy it's a nice strong bag if you make this bag I'd like to see a picture of it you can post me a picture on the bag of day crochet Facebook page I'll put a link to that below in the description box